find out point of contraflexure for this given beam. Point of contraflexure is a point where bending moment it changes its sign from positive to negative or vice versa. So it can this point can be located after plotting the bending moment diagram. So let us start by finding out the support reaction for this beam. So this is a beam which is simply supported over the span AB and has an overhanging portion over the span BE. The distances are mentioned. It is subjected to the point load over span DE and a concentrated moment of 10 kN meter at point C and a point load of 10 kN. These are my positive sign conventions. Let us start by finding out support reactions VA and VB. So let us take moment about A equal to 0 if I apply equation of equilibrium then I will get VB into 6 I am taking moment about this point minus UDL the total UDL will be 3 into 4 into the its point of application the centroid of this UDL will pass through point B so it is at a distance of 6 meter from point A so it will be 6 then the point load minus 10 into 2 and the moment the moment is opposite to VB so it will be again negative minus 10 is equal to 0 so this equation will give me VB as 17 kilonewton now if I apply sum of all vertical forces equal to 0 I will get another equation of equilibrium VA plus VB minus 10 minus 3 into 4 is equal to 0 it will give me VA as 5 kilonewton. So my support reactions are with us I can start plotting my diagram so let us acquire the space for plotting the diagram so if I look at section AC section AC is subjected to VA as point load and point A has 10 kN so if I cut a section if I pass a section through this location this is my VA which is 5 kN and let us say this distance is x the section 1 1 is at distance x my s will be downward m will be positive from the positive sign convention so my s will be equal to s will be constant and it will be equal to plus 5 because if i write the equation of equilibrium then my equation of equilibrium will be s downward minus 5 is equal to 0 so s will be 5 kN it is constant and positive for the span for span AC so I can write away plot here for span AC that shear force diagram is upward positive and is equal to 5 similarly <coughs> for such a span where only concentrated point load are acting or uh, uh, concentrated loads are acting the bending moment diagram will be a linear one as clear from this also the m will be equal to if I write the equation of equilibrium n minus 5 into x is equal to 0 so m will be 5x and at this location because it is a simple support m will be 0 otherwise also from this equation when x is equal to 0 m will be 0 and at m at c will be equal to 10 kN meter it is on just left of c we have not included the concentrated moment till now so if i include concentrated moment here which is 10 kN meter it is acting in clockwise direction so if i include it here it will be positive it will be added to my internal uh, uh, bending moment m and c when i am on just right of c will be 10 plus 10 is equal to 20 kilonewton meter so i can 
plot it like this so it is 20 here there will be sharp increase and similarly here also here also i have 10 kilo newton now due to va upward I, I was getting positive shear force diagram due to 10 kilo newton downward my shear force diagram will go downward equal to the 10 kilo newton so it will come down and this point is 5 now for span again cd there is no more load and shear force is just summation of all the vertical forces on the beam itself so for this span i can just extend my shear force diagram and for this span cd again locate the points let me demarcate the points this is point c this is point d so this is point c and at point d let us find out the bending moment so it will be linear and uh, i can draw the section also so let me draw the section here this is va va is nothing but 5 then i have concentrated load and concentrated moment 10 kilo newton meter then i want to find out my moment at this location x this is 2 meter so my positive sign convention says that s will be downward m will be upward so if i take moment about point x equal to 0 put that equal to 0 i'll get this is positive m so 10 kilo newton will have same sense the, the moment generated due to point load 10 kilo newton will have same sense as the m is so plus 10x minus 10 kilo newton meter this moment is in the opposite direction of m so it will be minus then due to 5 will also be negative so 5 into 2 plus x is equal to 0 so my moment will be if i solve this uh, minus 10x plus 10 minus it will be plus 5 into 2 plus x so it will be minus 10x plus 10 plus 10 plus 5x let us solve this so it will be 20 minus 5x so it is linear and m at point d on just you can say left of point d it will be x will be equal to 2 meters so x will be equal to 2 meters so 20 minus 10 it will be 10 kilo newton meter so i can plot it here it is linear so it will come down to 10 like this positive linear now for the remaining span for this span this point is b and this point is e since this span d b e has udl over it so i can take a section here this is 1 1 I can take section 2 2 here now let us find out the shear force and bending moment diagram if I am moving from this side this is my end E and my internal positive sign convention says that internal forces will be upward S and M this is my section 2 2 which I have just considered for plotting diagrams on the free end so my s will be upward is positive this is 3 kilo newton per meter x so s upward minus 3x is equal to 0 It'll give me s is equal to 3x so positive and linear my s at free and e will be 0 and s add and b 
will be equal to 3 into 2 is equal to 6 kilo Newton I can similarly find out value of m so by taking moment at point x is equal to 0 and taking this moment as positive I can write equation of equilibrium m plus 3 into x into x by 2 is equal to 0 so m will be minus 3 by 2 x square so it is parabolic and negative and uh, m at point e will be 0 because x will be 0 and m at point b will be minus 3 into 2 square divided by 2 so it will be minus 6 kilo Newton meters so I can plot it here so 6 positive shear force diagram and my bending moment diagram will be parabolic and negative 6 so the remaining span at point D the VB is applied in upward direction Okay, and I am moving now I am moving from the side so my s is uh, the upward s is uh, positive internal moment is positive so this vb will bring down my internal moment equal to vb my vb is 17 so I will observe a sharp drop of 17 here so I can draw a sharp drop of 17 which is equal to 11 at this point due to vb and then I can join these two points now this span this span has linear uh, variation of shear force diagram due to application of point load so I can just join these two points and this is nothing but 5 so my shear force diagram is complete then for this portion also I have two extreme values with me so I can join these two points by a parabola like this negative but now I want to find out this this is point of contraflexure where my bending moment diagram is changing sign so I need to write the equation for this part then only I will be able to find out the location of point of contraflexure so let me take the section here and then writing the equation so if I take the section here this is my span this is point E VB is acting here which is equal to 17 to kilonewton per meter and 2 meters and this is X so for this span my bending moment is changing sign so I will find out this M so this M will be if I write the equation of this m by taking moment about point x equal to 0 this is point x taking this as positive m minus vb into x plus 3 2 plus x is the total distance so 2 plus x into 2 plus x divided by this is equal to 0 so I can substitute the various values so m will be equal to 17 x minus 3 into x plus 2 square divided by 2 if I put value of this pending moment as equal to 0 if I substitute this equal to 0 I can find out the value of x so putting this equation equal to 0 I will get 3x square minus 22x plus 12 is equal to 0 so x will be 0 0.593 meter this is my point of contraflexure and I can mark it here so this is 0 0.593 meters so that's how by putting the moment equation equal to 0 we can find out the point of contraflexure because at the point of contraflexure 
the bending moment is equal to zero and the bending moment diagram changes its sign from positive to negative or negative to positive so this is how we can find out the point of contact